Good morning, Cottonwood. This is Pastor Kenneth here to share a devotional thought with you from God's Word. I want to read from Romans chapter 8, verse 26, and it says these words, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Verse 27, Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And I wanted to read these verses to you because it says something so powerful in these verses, particularly and beginning in verse 26. It mentions that the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. And that word there means our inability to produce results. When we've tried everything we know to do to make things happen and we have not been successful, then we need to rely on the Holy Spirit to help bring about the results that we are desiring. But there's another powerful point in that verse that I want to share with you that has just helped me in my Christian journey and walk with Jesus for many, many years. And it mentions in that verse, when we don't know what to pray for as we ought. It didn't say that we don't know how to pray. It says we don't know what to pray for. And in light of what's been going on in our world, there are some things that we do know specifically what to pray for when it comes to COVID-19 and people being infected. We know we need to pray for healing when it comes to someone unfortunately losing a loved one to COVID-19 or by any other cause. We know we need to pray for comfort, but there are some times that we just don't know what to pray for as we ought. And it's in these times the Holy Spirit comes to our aid and gives us an utterance that we do not have ourselves. And we get to pray in what the Bible calls other tongues or in the spirit. It's a result and an outward physical evidence of being filled with God's spirit, which is God's desire for each one of his children to be filled with his spirit so that we can be empowered, we can become bold, but also we have this other language we can pray in. And it becomes most effective for us when we don't know what to pray. So if you have found yourself in that spot during these last three months or so, or maybe even before, I want to encourage you to ask God to fill you afresh and anew with the Holy Spirit. Allow that beautiful heavenly language that the Holy Spirit will give to you to flow out of your spirit. And you can pray from the innermost core and in being of who you are and let God bring about, as it says in verse 27, his perfect will. God bless you, Cottonwood. We love you. Look forward to seeing you soon.